Yo, what's going on, everybody? Ant E46 Source here. All right, today what we're going to do is um take a look and see what's going on with my car. I have a problem where if my car sat down for more than a day or two, it won't start. It keeps killing the battery. Um, just to go ahead and just throw a disclaimer out there so that you don't say it's the battery. I've been having this problem for about a couple of months now, at least a month or so. I just put this new battery in last Monday, and today is Monday, so exactly a week from the day, and it's still doing the same thing, so it's not the battery. What I've come to a conclusion is I have a parastic draw going on in my car. And what a parastic draw is, is when your car is asleep, there's still something drawing too much power when your car is in sleep mode. So what we're going to do today is test and see what's going on and why my car won't properly go to sleep or what's staying on when my car is asleep. So the things we're going to need is a multimeter, um, device clips, you don't need them, but it's just going to help me out and how we're going to do things today. Also going to need the 13 millimeter wrench that's in here, right there. And then we need to go to our glove compartment where we're going to be doing a lot of work and locate your fuse box. When you open your glove compartment, this is going to be pressed up. But there's a white clip right here that you turn. See, turn that clip. Your fuse box drop. So we're going to be going through these fuses one by one. I'm going to be pulling them and using my multimeter to see if my amps change. So let me go ahead and hook up the um, multimeter. And then um, we'll get started and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Alright guys, so I, I got the um, multimeter hooked up to the battery. What I did was just use this 13 millimeter wrench and I uh, unbuckled the ground right there from the body of the car right here. There's a bolt right here that you can see right there what grounds your battery to the um, to the metal of the car. So I went ahead and took that loose, put my black wire on that ground, and I took my red wire, just grounded it to this little battery holster right here. So now what we're going to do is take our multimeter and we're going to set it to amperage. Put it on 10 amps right here. Alright. Now what we're going to do from this point is also let me help us out here. I'm going to go ahead and remove my lights from my trunk. I just did that to help reduce some of the strain so that the lights can go off and put this car to sleep. Um, I still have my door and stuff open over here with my glove compartment open. What we're going to do now is we're just going to give it 16 minutes. The car should be asleep in 16 minutes. And um, the good way to check is when we come back that um, light that's in the glove compartment should be off. And our car should be asleep. Once we um, get the car asleep, then that's when we're going to start checking and see what's draining my battery by pulling the fuses one by one and um, see what's draining. So what I'm going to do is give this a minute here or give it 16 minutes, come back. This should be a lot, a lot lower in 16 minutes. It should be about 0 0.002 or 0 0.004 on a normal car that's properly going to sleep and it's not pulling too much. We'll see where this one at in a couple of minutes when the car go to sleep. Alright, so we back. It's been 16 minutes. It's actually been a little longer than now. I went down and got relaxed in the house. It's been probably about 25 minutes. But anyway, the car is asleep now. You can see that the number has dropped. And that is pretty high for a car at rest. So I need to find out where it's pulling that much power. So to get started on how to find out what is still running and pulling a lot of power, you go back into the car. <clears throat> so what you do is, simple as this. You're just gonna start pulling fuses. Once you pull a fuse, come back here to the car, see if the number has changed. If it hasn't, you go put this fuse back in its place and pull the next fuse. Now, if you can see up in here, 
there's plenty of fuses so I'm not gonna sit here and hold the camera as I do each one of these what I'm gonna do is keep working see if I can find out what the issue is and once I find it excuse me I'll be back and let y'all know well guys I have found the culprit you see that point one found out which one was doing pulling too much power and guess what it was the fucking radio after I said that's when this shit started happening when the radio started tripping this was the fuse for my radio this fuse came out of here can't really see but it was number 41 that I pulled I don't know if you can see that there and number 41 if I can get it to focus it's for the radio So, that is the culprit. And just to show y'all, I'll go ahead and put it back in there. And we'll go back to the trunk. And watch how it shoots up. I mean, it's under so much load. This thing actually sparks when you put it back in there. Trying to see if I can get it to show y'all the spark when I put it back in there. Once it makes contact. See that? That's how much load is on there. Go back. Look how it shot back up. Yeah, the radio unit is pulling a lot. Once again, take it out. And we're going to leave it out this time until I figure out what's going on with this radio. So we know what's killing my battery now. Now I just got to address the issue of why is it so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out come back here you'll see it drop it'll slowly drop back to where it was make sure I pulled the right one out I might have pulled the one out next to it make sure that was 41 <laughs> Yeah, that was the right one. It's, it's slowly down. You see it going down there. So that was the culprit. I give it another second here. Should it go all the way back down to where I just there it go right there. And see, this is where you want your car at when it's in sleep mode around 004. To that, that's even purple right there, 001. You barely got anything pulling on it. So, this is Ant with E46 Source, and I was just showing y'all how to diagnose if your car is in a parastic draw. Um, this is in a parastic draw. This is how you do it. Hook your multimeter up to your battery, and go through there and start pulling fuses till you find out what's the culprit. Now, this doesn't fix the problem, just to let y'all know, but this helps me diagnose the problem. At least now that I have this bat on, now that I have this fuse pull. My battery is no longer going to get drained overnight, so the car can sit, 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 and it's going to crank up fine every time. I don't need the fuse anyway because my radio is not working. It's not playing any sound out of it anyway, so it's not like I'm losing anything by um, pulling the fuse from my radio. So, um, we got it done. We find out what's going on here. Anyway, this ant with E46 source, and I'm out. Yo, guys, I just want to add one more thing to the end of this video. If you're having the same problem in your battery draining, just check this also. Make sure that you don't have anything pressed up against your motor. Because as you can see, your seat does move even with the key out. So just make sure because you can have your seat pushed all the way back. And something pressing up against this. And it'll drain your battery. I knew this wasn't my problem, but I just wanted to throw that in there so that y'all can know. Anyway, this ant with E46 or something out. back in business of course my navigation don't work anymore but hell it didn't matter it wasn't playing shit anyway so we got it done boys now it's time for me to go and get another radio module that'll be my next video stay tuned
One last thing, guys. I'm sorry to keep jumping in, adding more and more to the video, but I keep thinking of things as soon as I finish recording. Um, if you have a parastic draw going on, uh, one more thing I want to let y'all know. I don't have none of these components on my car, but I have heard these components are good about making your car have a parastic draw. Um, if you have angel eyes and if you have the dice unit in your car, those two units... Um, are known to cause you to drain a little bit heavy on your battery when your car is asleep. So the first thing you want to do if you're having a parasitic draw and you have either one of those equipment, either angel eyes around your car, uh, around your headlights up front, the halo eyes, or even if, or if you have a dice unit in your car, try unhooking those first and see if the um problem persists or not. Then if it still happened, then go through and do the steps that I did. But uh, I just want to throw that little extra tidbit in there. All right, that's my last video. I promise you, I'm out.